We are gathered here today to welcome in two new members to the Dirt Gym family. First, we have Winston, the 2022 Triumph Scrambler, XE. And now I pronounce the Dirtus Chimpus. Dirtus Chimpus. Next, I'd like to welcome Scrappy, a 2020 KTM 790 Adventure R Rally. And for Scrappy, Dirtus Chimpus. Dirt is cheapest. Dirt is cheapest. She's on a 50-50 tire and she's a little slick in here right now. Wow. Beautiful. Uh oh. <laughs> oh. challenge to go up this nice little hill here on the Triumph. So there's very little time on this thing off-road, so I'm gonna follow you. Oh, you're watch gonna you watch smash. my crash from behind? Yeah. Watch you smash the guts out of this thing. Watch out for the big roots. Ah. They're biting. This is a very limited edition, one in 500, I'm told, um, rally bike. The KTM for 2020. And uh, no, I'm not that good of a rider. I need a rally bike. How does it feel? Exciting? Scary? Yeah, it's fun on the way up. I just can't get the back <laughs> brake on the way down. I was oh, yeah. hunting for it, but I found it near the end. It's it's fun. The smile machine. Yeah. It really is fun. Wow, this bike sure is fun. I really didn't think I'd ever own one of these. When they first came out, I went, yeah, one in 500. I'm not gonna be able to get one. I didn't even try. I don't know anybody. <laughs> but I found a used one with 2,700 kilometers on it. In Calgary, six hour drive away. And you know what, the guy's selling it. I said, why are you selling this man? He's like, I got an 890 rally. What? That's like being struck by lightning twice, or maybe this should work out a better metaphor, right? There's my first hill. That's nice. And I've got this traction control thing. You see that three right there? On my left hand, I can dial it up or down. I'm going to tell you the truth, I don't know which way is which. I'm going to guess that three is low on the traction o meter, and like seven would be high. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't read manuals. This thing goes like a side of the hell though. Turn too quick to get me in trouble. So this bike has 
just over 10 inches of suspension, or maybe it's almost 11. And that bike, the Triumph, has just one inch less. It's got a lot of suspension. It's just tuned way too soft. We've got, yeah, we've got it set up full stiff and it needs to go a little more. All right. Will he do it? Oh yeah. to do that stuff guys we're just tacking on some fun because it's after work and we want to and uh for the most part after that initial heart nail spike out of the gates that's pretty spicy but then a lot of it's logging road like this and while we're rolling on logging roads you want to work on something so get loosened up in your corners getting that butt hanging to the outside of the bike driving the weight down on that outside peg and looking through that corner and then rolling out. So when you guys come, do you have anything that you want to work on? We're not instructors by any stretch if you want. Come on out, we'll show you the backyard. Ah, this is the backyard, guys. Not too shabby. We are very fortunate to live where we live. And we'd love to have you come down and we can show you around. Good times! So this isn't just Winston. It's Winston, the Hall Road Hooligan. Oh yeah. Oh yes. It's crazy. That's a good little name for him. Good ride. Okay. Have you ever seen two bikes riding together that were just more different in their philosophy, in their design? They're both out here on the same trail. They're both super fun to ride. But they're completely, they're so, so different. And of course, I'm just getting to know this bike. I've only been on it for 20 minutes? Yeah, it's called 20 minutes. Wow. It's like a, it's like a scalpel. It's like ninja. This thing is amazing for what it's designed to do. It's a race bike. You can pull it out of the crate. Put some gas in it. Just, just goes and you smash into everything. Sucks it up. It really loves to jump. It's super playful. And Winston, on the other hand, is a brute. It's a big hammer. And it's not dainty. And it's an absolute grin machine. And it's not going to win any races. In fact, the fun is you got to pick your path around with that thing a little bit more because it's got a lower skid plate and suspension is not as crazy. Although we might be able to address that because it's got all the suspension on it. It's really good stuff. It's not tuned, but it's what to do it. Yeah, I, uh, if I had to pick just one of these two bikes. I don't know. I guess this one's more of an all-rounder. Winston really sucks on the highway. There's a lot of wind. There's more wind than there should be. But boy, we are lucky to be able to have both these bikes right now. Bikes come and go. These are with us for now. I've been playing with that traction control, I'm on 5, I'm right in the middle now, which is kind of a boring place to be. I had it up to 9, and on the haul road I was laying her down on there pretty fast, but she kept cutting my power because of course the tire wanted to play loose, but yeah, I was saving tires, I wanted to see what it was like too. And I brought it down to 3 and went completely sideways right away. That was fun, now I'm just, I just decided to try 5. 
what the heck of it. Mike Klopp, uh, the guy who actually kind of convinced me to buy this bike, has um, the non-rally version, but he's got it all done up beautifully. And he says he's either in three or seven for traction control. Those are his two magic numbers. He knows when to dial it in. My poor 1090, I don't know what's gonna happen to that thing now. Oh, Mongo. I was thinking the 1090, I gotta keep it because it's the missile, man. It's got the power. Maybe for two up. Riding on the highway would be a little nicer. <laughs> but it's not better out here. No. I like the uh, Triumph better than my 1090 out here because of the low standover height. I can put my feet down, I can get the technical stuff that's still roughly know where the ground is. Now I cannot touch the ground on this thing. This is the worst out of all the bikes. It's really tall. I'm wearing my big kiss boots too. And uh, I've ordered the lower seat from Seat Concepts. But uh, hey, she's tall. The nice thing is I won't have to put my feet down as much because I can just smash into stuff with the suspension and hopefully just look ahead, big smile, smash into it, and keep going. That's the philosophy at least. Still like something. So hey, this is our trail. <laughs> you just hit those. They were, you will never see it in the GoPro. I just hit two big rocks, one of them sharp, and it, it, I didn't feel it. The only reason I know it was there is because I saw them. If I'd done that in the Triumph, Andrew's going fast on the Triumph, but if I'd done that, that sloppily, boy, you would have, I might have lost some teeth. For sure, boss. Who knows what I'm talking about before? I'm talking too much anyways, right? This is our, uh, you know, novice -y type ride. If you've never been on dirt before, you're not going to start here. But generally speaking, you can go slow, you can pick your way through this. It's not too crazy. It's always a good line. Almost always. It's quite enjoyable. It's the right distance. Come on out, give it a try. Then you can make the smile. flying there for considering what you're on i gotta figure it out you gotta dial what's the secret he's just so angry that you can't be afraid of him like bad winston i'm the boss and then you smash on it hulk smash hulk smash <laughs> <laughs> wow that was really impressive yeah it was fun yeah we definitely need to get the back brakes figured out on this thing it's hard to find Columbia, third week of September. Start packing, boys and girls. It's time to play. Well, there you have it, guys. A little bit of stank palm. You don't know what a stink.
think Palm is Ascot when you show up, he'll show you. And yeah, like I said, not too spicy. Pretty nice little intermediate road if you're just getting your feet wet riding in the dirt and you don't feel like just doing logging roads. This would be a great choice. Have you packed your toothbrush? If you haven't, you better go buy one. And uh, we hope to see you here. If you like this trail, it's a decent intermediate route. If you're feeling a little spicier than the logging road, but you don't really want to get your ass whooped in single track, this might just be the dance for you. So come on out, grab the tracks, 